Hey, what's up, hood folks? This is Jeremy. How y'all doing today? So, I was a, I'm online looking for an editing software, and I really haven't, really still haven't made up my mind about which editing software I want to go with. You know, because I don't want nothing too fancy. Because I really ain't in the mood to learn something new. I'm just being honest. I ain't in the mood to learn something new. <laughs> And I don't want my channel or our channel to be full of a lot of graphics. I just like it to keep it real. Like, I want to keep it real and raw as it can be. I want to keep it, you know, like, it's touchable. Like, I can touch it. You know, because some channels and some graphics are too, it don't even seem real. It like a TV show. And this is not what I want to do. So, while I was online searching for, um, searching, while I'm searching for which editing software I want to use, I said, man, I ought to go live and talk about my top seven albums, my lucky seven. And I said, no, let me just make a little video, you know, because somebody said on Twitter asked me, asked me to explain why did I choose those seven albums. And if I had a better editing software, I could put them on the side of the screen, you know, right here. Because wouldn't that be good if I could put them right here as I talk about which album? But instead... Since I'm still ain't got what I got, and I'm a little ghetto, super ghetto, real ghetto. <laughs> I'm just gonna hold a goddamn phone up and show y'all what I'm talking about. But um, <clears throat> these seven albums really shaped my life. Now, people will say, "Why did you pick more, you know, big names or you know, big popular albums?" Because I can listen to an al album and it'd be a few songs on the album that I like. But the whole album is a total, like, mm. But these seven albums are albums that I can put them on and I can just play them. No skipping tracks, no skipping songs, just play them without any skipping. And I listen to these albums a lot because these particular albums were albums that when I was going through stuff in my past, uh, situations in my life at that moment, when I listen to these albums now, look at that. They just take me back to where I was at the time when I first heard those albums. Now, last week, Rashad showed his ass off. He did a, a food version without me. He even did a, another food version that I really couldn't take part in in the week before. So this is my video for me, for the hood folks that used to like me by myself with my top five. This is just one little video. I'm just doing it by myself. I ain't stuff Rashad. Plus, like I said, I work overnights. I'm at home all through the day, so this is my motherfucking video for me, good folks. <laughs> These particular albums do not come in no certain order, like top five, top seven. It's just they all number one, and it's seven of them. It's like if you got kids, you got five kids or seven kids, none of them is more important than the other one. They just all special to you. Project Pat. <laughs> Project Pat, Mr. Don't Play. That album came out in 1999, 2000. Chicken, chicken, chicken here was the big song off that album. And ironically, that song was not the song that gravitated me toward that album. I remember in year 2000, I was up in, I was just 2000, 2001 in that time frame when I was listening to this album, it was super heavy. I still listen to it now. What you doing, good with all that? Ooh, nah. Anyway, but when the peak of me listening to this album was 2001 when I was going to college, I would listen to this album and I would always want to be at the club. I want to be out partying. You know, this is, I was not out with my business. I was not out, didn't nobody know about me, about my lifestyle, what have you. But I always, this album will always just put me in the mood. Like I want to be out hanging out. I just want this group of friends that, that know about me, that know everything about my lifestyle, that know how I get down, that know Jeremy's off the chain. Jeremy love to get drunk. Jeremy want to smoke some weed. Jeremy want to be out being in his, because at that time I had a big Chevy Caprice, and I wanted to be riding in my Chevy, listening to my gangster project, Pat, you know, the life we live. That song was so hot, too, off that whole album. The whole album was banging, break the law. Uh, uh, I'm a gorilla on a hoe. I'm a pimp nigga, you ain't know. I know I don't say the N-word, but boy, that's, that Project Pat, 2001, in college, wanna be out partying, wanna be out having fun. Every time I listen to that album, it take me back to 2001, around that time frame. Music Soul Child, I just wanna say, this album came out year 2000 when I just had got out of high school. 
I remember the day I went and bought this album. It was right. It was it was kind of cool outside. And going into my bedroom, putting this album on. I hadn't started college yet. I don't think. But anyway, I was. I know I just got out of high school, and so I went and bought this album. And I remember going in my room and listening to this whole album. Like, damn, this is a good album. Damn, this is a good album. Picture me broken hearted. Paparazzi was a song that, that song just spoke to my heart because that song was all about being in love with somebody. And at this time, I was so in love with this girl. Listen, girl, G-I-R-L, girl, she had a pussy. <laughs> I was so in love with this girl and I would listen to this song in my bedroom. I didn't stay in my bedroom too much. But anyway, but I would listen to this song and I would just think about this girl. Like I just want her to just be my girlfriend. Damn, that whole album, Mary, how did you go? Around and hurt me so. I try so hard to please you, baby. But I just can't seem to, baby. Off this album, his biggest song was Love. There's so many things I got to tell you. That was the big song off that album. But man, this song, two, year 2000. Music Soul Child, I just want to sing. I actually wish I could relive that whole era again. Right time I got out of high school, just relive it all over again. And this album, even to this day, when I put on this Music Soul Child album, from the beginning to the end, the whole album banging. Whole album banging. Up next, Michelle Williams. Do you know? Now, when you think about Destiny Child, everybody always holler about be on whack. <laughs> but when this this was 2004, I joined the church. Listen, joined the church. I my daddy died in 1995, so I joined the church in 1995. Like I, the preacher said, that those are churches old and what have you. In 1995, right? I joined the church, but I don't feel like I didn't get saved until 2004. In 2004, y'all, I went through like a heartbreak, a heartbreak. I mean, a heartbreak. Not, not want to kill myself, but wish I was dead. Heartbreak. I got my feelings hurt so bad in 2004. That was like a hard year for me. 2004. Now, having said that, I did not start my relationship for real, for real until 2004. So the radio station at the time I was working at, at the time. They used to bring up, have a lot of CDs that came out, you know, a lot of music that come out, they bring in promo stuff. And I got a copy of this Michelle Williams album and I was like, who gonna listen to Michelle Williams? Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. but I took this album home. My, like I said, my feelings were hurt. I was going through so much shit at that time, emotionally. And this album just helped me get a relationship with God. My absolute favorite song off of this album is You're My Only Love. My only, only love is you. That's a James Brown remake, but that is my absolute favorite song in the entire world. I mean, when I tell you in the entire world, I mean like a billion songs in the whole world is out today, right? The number one song that I like of all songs, better than any song I ever made, any song I ever heard, is Michelle Williams, My Only Love Is You. That song let me realize, or made me realize that the person who loves me the most is God. And God, I love you. That song is so special to me. When I used to work on the radio, this song wasn't even a single. And I used to play this song every Sunday morning. Everybody know, all oh, Jeremy's on the radio, Gospel Grooves with Jeremy. Because I would play My Only Love Is You. This is my absolute favorite song. 2004. I would not want to relive that year again. I lost a lot of weight in 2004. Like I was exercising stuff because I was hurt. But this album, it saved me. My Only Love Is You. Do You Know by Michelle Williams. Up next, Jaheen. Ghetto Love. Bro, sus. When I tell you, Jaheem Ghetto Love 2001, I was in college <laughs> and I was in college and I just remember listening to this whole Jaheem album 
all the way from 2001 to 2005. When I tell you I listen to this album once a day, his big, biggest song was off that album was you can have anything I got. I work my fingers all the way to the bone. Da, 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 da. That was the song, right? But my biggest song that I like of this album was Forever. The love I have for you will last forever. Ever loving you always. Damn, that's my song. And I even sung this other song off this album. Baby, I'm ready and willing. Because I'm able to satisfy your fantasies. That song warmed me my... Well, not that was my first talent show. But that song won me a talent show in 2003. I won $100 in the contest. That was my damn song. Jaheen Ghetto Love is an album that took me through, like, some emotions I was going through. And once again, it was love. I was finding myself wanting to be in love in 2001, 2, and 3. Like, I had some people that I liked, but I just wanted to be in love. And that album just made me just feel love. Even when I listen to that album today, Ghetto Love Jaheen. It just made me feel love. It just made me feel love. <laughs> Up next, Dwelle. Some kind of. So, this album came out in 2005. This album came out when I first got my very first apartment. I was living at home. We had some shit happen at home. And I moved out and I got my own apartment. I remember the day I was sitting at home. And I was watching BT. This is when BT was still playing a little music. And they played the commercial that... You no know, Dwelle dropping a new album. And the biggest song of that album was, mm, I think I love you. But that was the biggest song he dropped off that album. But my favorite song of that album was, Lay it down on me, on me, on me. That song, uh, I'm digging your flapjacks. <laughs> that whole album took me through a time when I, like I said, I got my first apartment. I was nervous. I was scared. I was lonely. But I also was happy because I was like, I live by myself. I got my own place to myself. And when I used to listen to that album, I was working at Net Zero in Mississippi. I hated that fucking job. But I used to listen to this album going to work and coming back from work. This album just made me want to just be grown. It made me feel grown. It made me feel like I want to find somebody to be in love. A lot of my mute, a lot of my top seven is all about love and relationships. That's why I value my relationship so much. Because when I listen to that album now, it just takes me through emotions of how I felt, how I felt happy how i felt sad at times how i felt kind of depressed but then how i felt good and dwell a he bleed laid it down on this album dwell a laid it down on this album damn that's a good as album i think i'm gonna listen to that i think he was making this video up next kurt franklin the new nation project Whew. now listen in 1997 when this album came out me and my friend Puka, who I told y'all about <laughs> in the story time with me and Rashad did it for Valentine's Day. Puka was my buddy. We had got into some shit. <laughs> some shit shit. And so, I had got into the trouble where I was going to be sent out to a juvenile detention center or something. I didn't want to get sent out. I did not want to go to a juvenile detention center. Like I said, we had skipped school, done some shit we shouldn't have did, and we had all got in trouble. In 1997, I was praying hard that I did not want to get sent out. I'd never been sent away from home. I didn't know how it was to be locked up. And I prayed and I prayed and I prayed. This Kurt Franklin album, The New Nation Project, this album here took me through. His biggest song off that album was uh, Lean On Me. You know the Lean On Me song. Even Future are killing that song of all people. But Lean On Me, Do You Want A Revolution? Woo woo! Do You Want A Revolution? Woo woo! But the song that took me out that album that got me through he loves me. 
Even though I was born in sin, he loves me. Whoa, 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 whoa. That song. And when I wake up in the morning, love, and my heart is filled with pain, the smile had up on my face is gone. I can't see the sunshine from the rain. But when I think of you, it's going to be what? And the world is all right with me. A lovely day. I can't do it right now, y'all. I can't do it. I can't do it. But a lovely day. This whole album just took me through from cover to cover. This whole album just got me through. So I pray, I listened to this album, I meditated on this album, and guess what? No bad, no bad blood. But out of all of us that got in trouble that day, I was the one that just got a lip probation and I didn't get sent off, but everybody else got sent off, <laughs> sent out to a juvenile detention center. That album got me through. All right, and the last album, Focus, motherfucker. I got to get the edit of somewhere. When I tell y'all about TLC, let's go all the way back to 1992. 1992, I was 10 years old. And in 1992, I knew that I wanted to be famous. Right. Now, most people said they started out singing at the age of two. Like, when I was two years old, I started singing. I didn't know nothing about I could sing at no age of two. I was still shitting on myself at the age of two. At the age of 10, I didn't know I could sing at no age of 10. But I knew that when I saw TLC, What About Your Friends video, What about your friend? Will they stand their ground? Will they let you in? Oh. I knew that I wanted to be some type of superstar. TLC, What About Your Friends. I remember buying that tape. It's not a CD, I bought a tape. And I begged my mama to take me down to Family Dollar in my hometown to buy me a little smaller radio so I could play this tape. And she did. I begged. You know, like I said, my mama, she gave me pretty much a lot of the stuff that I wanted. Anything I asked for, she gave it to me. So she bought me this little radio with a tape play on it. And when I tell you TLC, ooh, on the TLC tip, I listened to that album so damn much. I mean, I listened to that album so much. My favorite song off that album was I Can Do Bad By Myself. Hey, I done done it before and I do it again. I sure don't need you. To, I, I can do bad all by myself. I don't need you or anyone else. I ain't gonna be that fool no more. You better take that shit on out the door. You try to run my world, try to run my life. You must be crazy thinking you my wife. I done done it before and I can do it again. I sure don't need you to be my man. Man, TLC. What? Get, get up on the TV. <laughs> Bruh, when I tell <laughs> my mama should have knew so was up there. I, well, not really, but TLC, I used to get, I had went and bought me some little glasses, tried to buy some rubbers to put in my, put a rubber in my eye, like left eye. I had my little boots, the little TLC boots with the little, with the Jeremy Road. I'm telling you, 1992, I want to do it. TLC Uno, TLC Two will be my favorite TLC album of all time. That whole album from cover to cover. This is how it should be done. This is how, this is how it should be done. Man, I'm not going to listen. I'm going to listen to all these albums today. All these albums. As I do stuff around the house today, I'm putting all these albums on rotate and listen to them. So, I hope y'all enjoyed my little video going down memory lane. <laughs> These is my lucky seven. These are my favorite albums of all times that I can just play, 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 play. In the comments here, folks, leave me what is your favorite seven? If you want to leave seven, you want to leave five, or you want to leave one, what is your favorite music or album that you can just listen to without skipping a song? Just play it. It don't matter if it came out today or it came out a thousand years ago. All right, I hope y'all enjoyed this video, hood folks. It feel good doing a video by myself again. Cause it's been a while since I did something by myself again, hood folks. I'll see y'all next time. Peace.